Hello, this is Mount Lynn, aka South Yola Boli. Plan is to make this the first major summit of the season for me. After a couple months of not really doing anything outside Santa Clara County. What you're seeing here is the, uh, rather the north slope of, of South Yola Boli. As you can see, it's full of snow. Fortunately, the plan is to hook plan is to take the trail, we've take, taken the trail from Ides Cove, the loop trail, and the plan is, is to go around and loop around this ridge and get on top of the mountain that way. Hopefully it's going to have a lot less snow on that route, but we'll see. This is, so this isn't the greatest view of it, but because of all the dead trees here, there was a burnt through in a fire a few years ago, but looking off north, can kind of see the beginning of the Cascades. There's Lassen, covered in snows, and there's Shasta up there. All 14,000 some feet of it. So we've come out kind of around a bend in the trail and you can see pretty clearly here Shasta and I believe North Yola Boli. Well, I don't actually know the mountains around here that well, so I'm gonna have to go and check these when I get home. And you can see up here the Trinity Alps stretching up north of here. We've finally gotten to some parts where we actually have to do some walking on snow. Fortunately, this is all pretty easy. Snow's compacted. Still winding our way around around the north side of Yola Boli. This cool little rock formation ahead of us. And some campers. Little stream here being fed by, by, by snow melt. Easy enough to cross. Now heading up towards a, towards a saddle which should get us onto the, get me rather, onto the ridge of South Yola Bully. There's a fun little looking little rock formation here and I'm gonna see if it's worth tagging. So yeah, from this little perch, we've got a nice view of the north slope of South Yola Boli. According to the topo map, we're only at about 72,000 feet here, so still about 800 feet of gain, obviously less climbing up this little rock formation. I'm going to be careful about myself around here. Yeah, there's a great view of the whole of all the points north. Trinity's just is kind of hidden by those trees here. And the part of the slopes is burned over. So it might be a little hard to see with the trees. I'm not entirely sure how this will come out, but that's Long Lake according to the top of the map. Spirit of uh, quick honesty, that's actually Tomhead Mountain below that you see below Shasta. North Yola Bully is the taller mountain over there. Some bit of snow on it. Little scree interlude was a nice reminder of why I own trekking poles, even if they're currently sitting in my car. Still, nothing difficult. Yeah, so that's that little peak there was yeah, just nothing too nothing too difficult, nothing special. Still, nice little view. One little class three move I'd say at the top. Very easy. Onward and upward. Not particularly exciting, but just to give you kind of a feel of it. 
just heading through these, heading gradually up to these trees. Heading up towards the ridge line. Coming up to the ridge, and it's a rather fun amount of snow. However, I'm betting there's a way that isn't going to make this an exciting snow climb. Slopes look pretty non-steep at the far point over there, so I'm going to wander probably slightly off the official trail, but this is all open country, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. See the footprints, see a nice little mountain over there. This is going to be the west, the I can directions. Yes, the west, kind of the western ridge point of this route. So let's see what you can see to the west. You know, what I now know to be North Yola Bowley. And that should be the Trinity Alps all stretched there. Time to go over the snow. You can see up up to the Yola Bowley over there. That's the ridge we're going to be ascending. really stop using we given that you the viewer are presumably doing this from the comfort of your computer and I am all by myself here talk about social distancing there is I've passed a few parties up here wearing camo I bet they were hunting something or fishing or I don't know maybe it's just aesthetic but Way nicer here than the crowded trails back in the bay. Huh. Little sign up here. Pine and South Yola Bully Trail goes up towards the summit. There's another trail that goes there. Might be the Ides Cove Loop, but can't make out the name from that sign. You go up this little point. Whew. Yep, you can see Shasta up the extent over there. And adds all mountains to the west. And then Yola Bully behind. Yeah, there's North Yola Bully. There's a ridge. More time could be fun to play around these mountains, but you know, I'm playing and driving home tonight. And now it's time to hike up. Topo map says that we're about 7,600 feet here, so another 400 feet to go. As we Finally crawl up above tree line. Finally have a nice uninterrupted view of well at least the ridge line of South Yellow Bully. Pretty sure that's a false summit up there, but Yep. Yeah, as we get up above 7,600 feet. Just a rock and scrub. As I climb up through this little bit here, I just wanted to highlight the rock striations. Striations? Words are hard. Uh, I just thought they're really cool.
And as we clear the head wall, there it is. Proper summit. A bit further away than I might have hoped. There's a little false summit over here. I don't think I'm going to bother going to tag that. Yeah, it was a bit of a steep stretch. Not really anything worth writing home about. But steeper compared to the rest of the trail, which has been very gentle. Hopefully it's not too much of a drop between here and the summit. I don't, didn't look like too much of a drop on the top of the map, but I'm also out of practice looking at the 800 foot contour line, so we'll see. Yeah, this isn't gonna be too bad at all, you see. The, now that we've returned this corner, you can see the west knob, which is about 79.50 feet. You can also see the ridge line we're making towards. Yeah, yeah. This drop would be, well, setting aside the steepness of the slope for a bit, just even there, that would be not fun to have to re-up climb at this point, but yeah, this ridge looks, looks, looks mellow and fun. Love a good ridge hike. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with West Horn just out of laziness. It looks like a fun little bonus peak. It doesn't really register on any of my... It doesn't appear, but it doesn't appear to have enough prominence to, to officially count as a separate peak. So instead, time to cross some snow. There's up to West Horn. It's a big, there's all the big snow slope coming down there. You can see where the trail comes out of the snow. Not really attempting to match, match it over the snow. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's snow. I'm not surprised. Like, I can see the, you can see footprints of other hikers, so I'm basically following their track. If you look at the weekly satellite feed that came through yesterday, you can see the, you can kind of see all where all this snow is, and so I scouted ahead of time. And is there snow? Yep. It's late May, so it's not going to have melted out yet. It was a really, really weak snow year, which it was not. But it wasn't a super heavy snow year, so didn't expect snow to be a huge obstacle, and so far it hasn't been. So yeah, I, I, I love ridge hikes in general, and this has just been a wonderful example of, of the form. East a bit, the view south rather is a bit blocked by the trees here, but the view out, out north and the valley Shasta, Lassen, not the Olaboli in the back. It is a wonderful day in the mountains. Yeah, from, from up here on the ridge, you can see that nice big snow fields. And here we are at the top South Hill Bully Mountain. It's 
like the high point is back there. Which makes our official ascent time two hours, 22 minutes. Wow, and this is it. South the old Bowie Mountain, aka Mount Lynn, 8,071 feet. Highest point. Highest point of the Mendocino National Forest. Most prominent peak in uh, Tahoma County. I suppose. I suspect there's also the Wilderness High Point. I'm going to go double check that. So yeah, I'm going to mosey on over to that little sub peak over there. It looks pretty definitely slightly higher. There's a USGS reference mark, although guessing that's lost under this cairn actual benchmark. So when they built a little rock structure here. Actually makes something slightly more annoying than it has to be, but here we are. So, Yola Bully. Give you an idea of some of the views here. As you can see Mount Lassen, Mount Shasta, little white peaks in the distance. Trinity Alps out there. There's North Yola Bully. Now as we run over here for a better view, you can see Black Oak Hammerhorn Mountains, at least that's what the finder tells me. And there's off to the south, the big kind of foreground mountain, that one, that's Black Butte. That's the high point of Glen County. It's a county high point, I'm pretty sure it's Glen. Then over there, kind of in the middle there, left is St. John Mountain, but kind of in the middle there is Snow Mountain, which is a two for county high point, which I think, which I'm now thinking is Glen Calusa. I can, I'll look that up and annotate this video, but, and out in the distance over the valley, or the foothills, you can kind of see, you can see the Sutter Buttes. Most of that's private property. I and a bunch of other county high pointers got legal permission to hike it. It's a really nice viewpoint if you ever get the chance to do it legal. I wouldn't encourage you to stealth it, just both on moral principles and because it just seems like it would be a real pain to stealth, but nice, but it's just this little tiny mountain range in the middle of the valley. Anyway, it's time to head down. I'm reading my map right. The plant, the descent route I'm looking at, this big ass loop, should basically go down that away back to Ides Cove fairly quickly. Expecting descent to be a lot quicker than ascent because as I'm closing a loop and this was not the far point of the loop. So the fun part is going to be hooking up with, well, I don't think there's actually a trail. I think this is, this is going to be cross country. So this looks like it's, yeah, this looks like it's just going to go down and it's not going to go too steep. Going down there might get a little 
steeper than I want to deal with, especially without poles, but this looks, and this looks like a used trail, honestly. So, go down, down to Ides Cove. Yeah, once, now that we're off this little, off the steepest bit, this just looks like a lot of fun ridge walking, part two. My understanding is that this is the normal route people usually come up. I wanted to make it a little more fun, and just because it's just a lot of driving, like, it's not the mostest of driving I've done for some for some peaks on out and back bases, but just doing a quick, just trying to optimize the route for fast just seems, seems, I don't know, like you could do it. And like if I was, you know, camping or something or trying to bag multiple peaks, like if I was, if I got up super early, wanted to try to get North Yola Bully as well. Sure, but you know, might as well stay out a bit longer. Have some fun. See the mountains. Especially when you're me and you haven't really done anything alpine since frickin' Labor Day last year. Unless you count pinnacles, which I don't. Pinnacles is I mean, not to bag on pinnacles, but it's it's very Di Diablo range. It's not it's not what I would remotely call alpine. Like North Shallow and South Shallow are pretty much your typical Diablo range peaks. And speak of the devil, here's an actual trail. Hi, right, so uh, not have to worry about trying to find a way down these slopes. Just zoom, and I'm guessing this probably just takes down down to the main trail junction from there to Ides Cove. One of those peaks, couldn't tell you which one off the top of my head, it's got to be Mount Eddy, which is the highest point west of I-5. Yeah, going down this side of the map, this side of the mountain, we've got the best views south of South Yola Bowley. The intervening ridges between out here. Tall Central Valley, northern part, but can't really make out any towns to my eye. Obviously, if you're driving here, the most direct route is from Corning. Jump on top of this little bump here, just for some final views before we hit the real descent. Maybe 75, 60 feet. Yeah, so the slopes are about to, you know, then where the ridge bombs out, and there it is. Lesson, friends, lesson of friends. Cas Southern Cascades, Huntsville Valley. Looking all the way over to Shasta. Can't really see South Yola Bully itself from here, and by the trees. Just noting that that little trail I mentioned earlier seems to have disappeared down here. 
which is completely fine. This is open country. It's easy to navigate. You just the goal is to just stay on the ridge. The last bit of cross country heading downhill towards the trail. It's the one part where we've actually had to leave the ridge. But presumably there is a trail down here somewhere and we are going to link, well, I am going to link up with it. And there we are, one trail right here. Now it is just a short little journey back to the trailhead. This looks like the area that you're vaguely, air quotes, supposed to start the cross country. It's the obvious junction. Like I said, standard route for Heath Yellow Bully is probably just come up this trail, take a right up there, come back the same way. But less scenic. Here's the kind of the begin the part where the loop connects. And there's our starting point, Ides Cove Trailhead. more cars than I was expecting when I got when I drove up, but a lot of it's camping and or backpacking, and more now than when I got here, but a lot of it's camping and or backpacking. Again, I didn't see that many people on the trail. I saw nobody on the descent. That was a good three hours, 14 minutes of hiking, that not including time at the summit. I followed Steve Walster's trek on Peak Bagger, if you're interested in following along. Uh, yeah, hopefully next time I do a hiking Peak Bagger video, I'll actually remember to start the, well, I won't get the idea mid-hike, so you'll actually get some video at the start. Happy trails, and stay healthy.